to this. Did you ever think that you would do a faith-based film? I never thought I'd make a Jesus Rock film. <laughs> I really didn't. And as a matter of fact, when the opportunity came, uh, came to me, at first I was like, why would I ever do that? Um, I was raised very Catholic. I was an altar boy. I went to Catholic high school. It was almost oppressive. Yeah. Um, and I rebelled as a, as a teenager against it and said, I'm not doing this anymore. And, and frankly, didn't give religion, certainly Christianity, any serious thought since high school. Yeah. Um, and when this project came along, it was the, the, the order <laughs> of the information was this. There's a, there's a music film kicking around Hollywood. I'm like, cool. You're talking to the right guy. Big band. I'm like, you're talking to the right guy. We're going to do you know, a concert and all this. They're selling millions of albums. They're selling out enormous arenas. Hugely influential band. I'm like, so, like, who is it? Like, you 2 Coldplay, who are we talking about? And they, and they said, Hillsong United. I was like, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> and they said they're a Christian rock band. And I was, I was like, why would I do that? Um, and then I realized that I had a prejudice that um, as someone who likes to believe he's open-minded needed to get past. You could have told me the film was about Satan worshipers. You could have told me it was about ISIS. You could have told me about anything. I would yeah. be like, oh, that sounds cool and edgy. Let's go, yeah. you know? But you said Jesus, and I was like, it's a little standoffish. And so I realized that I needed to get past that. Um, and as, a, as someone who takes their craft seriously, put away my own thing, mm -hmm. dive into this culture, and then try to represent it. And I'm so glad I did because everyone asked me, all my, all my uh, non-Christian friends asked me, have you been saved? And the, <laughs> the answer is no, I haven't been saved in the technical sense, but I have been influenced. And I feel armed with um, the ability to love more in, 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 in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, When you hang out with people like JD, yeah and Jad, and Joel, and Tay, and all of them. They're, they're just the nicest people, and they're not insincere, you know? It's not BS, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. this is really very real for them. Um, and so, I, you know, I'm happy to have been influenced by that, and I feel happier as a person, um, sort of looking at how they treat each other and, and using that as a model for my own life. What was your perception of Christianity, and of faith, rather? before you started this film and how has it changed since sure. you've done this film? Um, so, like I said, I was raised very Catholic, uh, Irish Catholic in New England, and uh, I thought it was super white and super boring. Um, and you know where I come from, it is. <laughs> so, uh, when I was debating whether I was gonna take this film, um, I was invited to go see a service here in New York City. Uh, downtown, like Irving Plaza, I think they were mm -hmm. still playing like a you know at a club, yeah. And it smelled like booze and drugs because <laughs> they, they had all just left like three hours earlier, and like yeah. now they're doing church in the club. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was a kind of amazing thing, and I was invited in, which I which I felt okay, that makes sense. But I was immediately struck by um, how young people were and how uh, multicultural it was, and so I was immediately like, oh, this is not just a bunch of old white people sitting around, you know. And murmuring Latin to each other, you know, and so that that helped me warm up to the idea. Um, I liked I liked seeing younger faces and people of color around. Um, and then uh, the band comes out, the house band in New York, and I don't even know who was on stage at that point. I don't know if it was anyone who was uh, in United because I knew nothing about them at that point. Um, but what happened was. The band started playing and, you know, boyfriends put their arms around their girlfriends and everyone was so legitimately happy to see each other that this vibe of love just like came over in <laughs> Plaza. And I was like, wow, you know, like this is really, uh, this is really something. And, and like I said, whether I believe everything they believe is almost irrelevant. Um, the, the truth of the matter is I, I believe everyone should be happy and free. And, and, and as long as they're not doing harm to someone else, however they find that place, um, I'm happy for them. Um, and I think that these guys, Hillsong, especially the church, does a really good job of letting go of sort of the baggage that I experienced as a child and, 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 and welcoming people as they are. You know, they're not a judgy sort of church. They're sort of like, come on in. Um, yeah. And I think that, um, I think, I think that Jesus would probably be like, you know, down with that. I think he'd be like, yeah, that's how we're supposed to do it. And how has this film differed from your past films? <laughs> uh, how, how has this film differed from my past films? Um, I, like I said, I think the root level of what they're up to is um, 
is really, really deep and really meaningful. They're not trying to be pop stars. They're not trying to be the best rapper or anything like that. They're trying to bring people into the afterlife with them forever. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. So as a storyteller, for me, that's got a lot of potential. Like I'm like, that's a really interesting yeah. story to tell. Yeah. Um, and I also saw the emotion at the concert and at the services, and I felt like, you know, whenever you're trying to tell a story, you want you want the audience to feel. Um, and there was so much feeling going on. I was like, this this film feels like it could be really, really exciting to make. And then it also felt like it'd be uh, really fun to watch as well. For believers and non-believers. I've had a lot of non-believers watch this film and been like, I'm not gonna lie, I really like the film. And like they're kind of like begrudgingly like, I'll give it to you. Like the film's really good, I really enjoyed it. And so, you know, I'm happy to hear that.